I always look at the youngsters and I say, enjoy your hair while you can. Thank Allah. If you thank Allah for it, perhaps it might not disappear. But if it does, it's a beautiful thing. What's wrong? Half the world is bald, including the cameraman in front of me. Mashallah. I was wondering what light was shining here and I realized it's not a light. It's a beautiful hair. May Allah bless you, my brother. The Imam was slightly late for Salatul Fajr. Slightly late, a few, like a few minutes. Now, you know what happens with the Imams. Normally, you have the people behind their role. Hey, you late, you late. He got up, he said, brothers, don't, don't pick on me. I was engaged in another act of worship. <laughs> He says, I've come from Ibadah to Ibadah. It's a fact. And you know what? Those who understood knew what he was saying. They, and he said it. And nobody dared say a word. From that day, he was the hero of all the youngsters. They said, the man is old, but he's not cold. The mom in the masjid said, you need to praise the cooking of your wife. Just like I said now. So the man went home and he had this meal. And he was looking at it and looking at his wife and smiling and all happy, mashallah, and excited and everything. And when he finished, he says, oh, it was awesome. And the wife says, what? I've been cooking for you for 21 years. You never said that. Today when the food came from the neighbor. There was a guy on the street and I was driving. And for some reason, when the traffic light turned red, there is a little solid line. You get two, three solid lines there. So my bumper must have crossed the first solid line. He looked at me and said, dog. I said, woof, woof. I see a lot of the guys here. They follow all these girls, right? Even some of the older guys. They follow all these girls. You know what? My brother, you're living a fantasy, man. These people don't even want to look at your face. They don't even want to know who you are. They're honestly there just to make themselves feel good. You've got all these follows. The only thing that's going to happen to you is on the day of judgment, right? Come here. Who did you follow on TikTok? Here's all the names. Who are these? You can't say Sheikh Beyonce, Sheikh. These are not, these are not Sheikhs. I've seen Shabbat. a man who had a carrot and he was pretending like he's smoking this carrot and nibbling on it. And I told him, I said, my brother, what made you nibble on this carrot? He says, my doctor told me I can't smoke and a good replacement is a carrot. I said, Allahu Akbar. You stuff in your mouth with a carrot because of a doctor, but when Allah told you smoking is bad, then you didn't want to listen. Allahu Akbar. May Allah make us from amongst those who eat carrots rather than smoking cigarettes. The guy telling his wife, you know what? Your belly's a bit big. She says, I know. I'm about to be a mother. What about yours? It's big as well. He says, well, I'm about to be a father. Man. His wife tells him, listen, you know what? You have to tell me. You have to swear that you're going to be honest with me. He says, okay, I'm honest. Describe your love for me. So the man says, he thinks for a moment and he says, you know what? You are like my SIM card. I'm like the phone, you know? Without you, I'm nothing. Now you know that. Wow. So the woman goes back so happy and delighted. Wow, I'm so happy. It's the sweetest, most romantic thing I've ever heard. Imagine, without a SIM card, what is a phone? So then he walks out and as he's walking out, he says, and she's saying, wow, most romantic word I've ever heard. He says, she doesn't know my phone has a quad sum. <laughs> <laughs> Allah protect us.